Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have I Love Juice with 1,481 rating versus Shunsuke Hayama with 1,384 rating. This is going to be another high-rated DB video. Also, make sure to check out I Love Juice, link down below at the top of the description. And now we see Shunsuke win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. They'll go first, 41 versus 41. We got Sornir, Albion, the Shrouded Dragon, Branded Fusion, Bistio, Lubelion, and Super Poly. They have Wanted, Turbulence, Prosperity, Preventer, and Impulse. So we have Rescue Ace versus Branded. And then Wanted, go search Black Witch, summon it by sending Turbulence. And then Black Witch, go ahead and set the original. Original, send, summon Hydrant. And then Hydrant effect to go search, grab out Airlifter, summon Airlifter, Airlifter effect. Go ahead and grab out the alert from the deck to the hand. And then activate alert to search out for Turbulence. Okay. Uh, link off into a Link Karibo, then make a SP, summon out Turbulence by Banishing, then Turbulence Effect, set Contain, Extinguish, Emergency, and Rescue. So set four from the deck, and then, I mean, we have like a Prosperity that can go ahead and banish. Yeah, go ahead, banish six, look at the top six. So we see Amirage, IP, Hida, Dark, Heat Soul, and Sunlight Wolf. And then off the top, we see a Fire Attacker, Imperm, Veiler, Preventer, Ash, and Wanted. Okay, uh, it's just going to be grabbing Ash, which is also like really good into this matchup, obviously. And then put the rest of the cards back to the bottom of the deck, face down. Well, obviously, face down, bottom of the deck. Then activate Preventer, banish, special summon out. Okay, now link off into a Appalooza. And then Preventer effect, summon back out Hydrant. And then pass turn. Uh, okay, I said in end phase, activate Bestial Sornir to banish the Black Witch. You know, they were hoping that they would Apo that, but nope, they're fine with it because they have to Apo it again next turn to uh, they're drawn to Allure of Darkness. And then go main phase, Branded Fusion, Chain Ash Blossom, Allure of Darkness, draw Fusion Duplication, Allure, banish Shrouded Dragon. Yeah, Fusion Duplication is really good in this deck um, because. Unlike something like Cross Out, where Cross Out is like mainly just to go in first card, uh, you could play Thrust, which Thrust is like, you know, mainly a going second card, but also if you get hand trapped when you go first, you can set Fusion Duplication, it's really strong. Um, then they're going to go Battle, start a battle, Rescue, Summon Preventer, and then it said anything with priority, Super Poly, use Preventer, Hydrant to go summon out the Garua, okay. Preventer effect, summon back out the, ah, let's see what it means, probably just airlifter, right, to go search, but it could be a turbulence, nah, it's probably just airlifter, yeah, summon out airlifter, and then airlifter effect, go search, grab out headquarters, okay, and then here, we do have contain extinguish, and we have emergency that could prevent her to book a moon, like the Sornir, so that way I can't try to beat over. And then main phase two, get rid of Sornir, bring out Bestial Lubellion, then Sornir effect to go dump, Chain Appalooza, uh, Lubellion effect, Chain Appalooza, set Fusion Duplication, Allure of Darkness, draw, and the Tragedy Fusion Deployment. Okay, <laughs> that's really good. Uh, tragedy effect, Appalooza, Fusion Deployment, Reveal, go summon out the Cartesia. That's fine, Cartesia effect, and then chain contain on that, shut that down, try to pass, extinguish, pop Garua. Uh, is there a reason to do that there? Because, like, that seems pretty bad. The opponent gets to draw one now. So, Garua effect, draw into Super Poly, pass, they draw Prosperity. Yeah, Preventer effect. Book the Cartesia, and then they're going to link off into a SP, and then SP Preventer, so try to banish Fusion Duplication, Chain Targeting Branded Fusion, and then Summon Out Turbulence, Banish, go ahead, Dump, and Resolve a Branded Fusion here, and then it's going to dump Fallen of Albaz, Cartesia, Summon Out Albion, the Branded Dragon, also that's supposed to be banished, then... Uh, new chain link, Albion effect. They said okay. So banish, bring out Mirror Jade. Sure, summons it in defense mode. So that way, like an access code beating over it doesn't do damage, I guess. Uh, wanted, put back, draw on the Black Witch. 
Then emergency to go set. Okay, so banish, go set contain. Yeah. Still have headquarters. Uh, summon out Black Witch, send prosperity, effect, go set original from the deck. That is fine. Yeah, then original send airlifter. Chains mirror jade here. Chains mirror jade before they get the contain set up. Uh, so dump ash dragon and then go banish. So that will go ahead, banish turbulence, summon out hydrant. Yeah, it's going to go through there. Then headquarters effect, put back extinguish, preventer, alert, and rescue. And then draws into a impulse. Hydrant effect goes search. Grab out the preventer. Okay. Then this uh, thing here. Um, they're going to go, yeah, banished. Duplication is banished. Oh, we must go back then. We must go back because my plays can change. If duplication. What? Nah, that's cat. What 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 play of yours would you realize that you messed up at some point, right? Cause like this isn't game, obviously. We can't S we can't attack directly because SP I mean we're not in the greatest spot. We're not in the worst spot, but we're not in the greatest spot, but like obvious okay, obviously that's whack there. Um said what? We must go back to the summon of Little Knight because the trap had to be banished. You have drawn cards and played because you draw because you draw it. We can rewind just checking the log. Uh, I don't. No judge will rule with that. Um. Said with the judge for me it changes. What change? Come on, don't shark. I'm sorry, but we must go back. This is a funny thing. Wait for the judge. Yeah. Watchers chat calling you a sharker. Why? Uh. What are they talking about? Duplication. Try to shark his last opponent as well. Drew two cards on opponent's main phase one. Looked like he was conceding. Opponent shows his set cards. Then returns the cards he drew. Uh, oh. That's so whack. That's so whack. I wonder, you know what? I mean, I might be able to get the replay of that from this person, but that'd be so whack. Said, and said play on, wow. Shark Sook, uh, I said, Shunsky, stop sharking and try to win. Yeah, that's whack. Um, but honestly, I believe it after what they just said there, because, like, this literally changes nothing from their plays. Or it shouldn't have changed anything from their plays. Make Celine, Celine, bring back out from the graveyard. Yeah. That is good. Uh, it summons in defense. Okay, go up in the access code. Access code effect, gang attack. Effect, banish, pop this deal to Bellion. Pop Cartesia. Make a sky crisis. Sky crisis bounces back Albion. Beat over Mirror Jade. Yeah, and even if this was in attack position, uh, it would get beat over anyways because this is at 33 right now. So it could get beat over anyways. I uh, can't attack directly because of SP. Said my bad. End phase. Cartesia effect. Add back. Ash dragon effect. Can go summon out a Quem. Quem effect can activate. The opponent does have contain if they want to use it. But I kind of doubt that they will. The dump. Huh. Yeah, I kind of doubt that they will try to stop this. So, I uh, can't impulse because they summon Sky Crisis. You cannot summon. I said, I'm tilted. Okay, so dump retribution. And then, can't use preventer there to use it. Said another. Yeah, I mean, okay, that is great. Yeah, I mean, that's like three times in like two seconds. Uh, I'm not sharking at all. True. You're just doing a lot of illegal moves. Drawing the called by. And then, standby phase, main phase. They will go, uh, I guess just normal out Cartesia effect. They hopefully our opponent chains contain on it. And then we just go, haha, chain super poly. And then that's like branded fusion set up. If they don't chain contain and they let us resolve, we can still summon Grangoil, right? But like, ha. Huh. 
I guess we could just go super probably discard Cartesia and then Clem try to summon it back. Uh, okay, so it might be Guru is banished. Okay. So go ahead, summon, yeah, bring those back out. Then just normal summon out the Cartesia. So you don't play Masquerade. I want to fuse Hydra and Preventer. I haven't had a valid target to summon, not how it works. That is true. That is not how it works. Oh, uh, this is not, you know, there's a lot of scenarios where, yes, you would be allowed to go back, but not with Super Poly. Uh, Super Poly wouldn't be able to go back like that. Like, if you want, I don't know, um, activate a Imperm. Like, let's say we had nothing on the field, right? And we go Imperm target Hydrant. And the opponent goes, you can't target Hydrant because I have Preventer. You are not forced to use Imperm on Preventer or Sky Crisis. Imperm would be returned to hand since it was an illegal activation there. But Super Poly, you know, it doesn't it doesn't say like target two monsters on the field or something like that, fuse them off. So it it would be legal if they did have a target with this and this, which they almost certainly do, right? Uh, they're gonna go summon Cartesia, effect, chain contain. Then they're thinking here, said so Chain Super Poly, Cartesia, plus the Sky Crisis, summon out Grand Goyle. Then, yeah, Cartesia will now resolve, said I haven't had, I haven't valid target. You don't have a valid target for that, okay. So, that means they do not play... Like, Masquerade? What else could that mean that they don't play? There's got to be something else you can make with these. I'm just fumbling the bag right now and not thinking about it. Um, but okay, they're going to go ahead. Bring out Mirror Jade, dump Shrouded Dragon. Said, wait a second. Wait a second, because the activation of Super Poly is legal. And you can activate it and use it. Doesn't matter if you have Garua banished. I want to summon Garua. Nah, I cannot summon it. Man, that's not how it works. I mean, the opponent said it before, but now they're realizing, like, oh. I might actually lose, so I need to, you know, call judge and make sure that it, you know, happens like that. Said so, pathetic accepted game state. Oh, that's that's not true. That's not true. It's not an accepted game state. Oh, uh, they were not on purpose. Stop saying it, please. Uh, I tilted because I had no way to summon turbulence. Yeah, I mean that's why they wanted to go back because they realized that they had made a mistake. Um. Obviously, obviously, but yeah, they said you can summon something else. You're not forced to summon out Garua. I mean, ah, like last turn, there was so much different that they could have done, right? Like the rescue ace player to the point where we shouldn't have been where we're at right now. Um, as Super Poly says, you can use any monster on the field that choose Preventer and Hydra. No, you didn't choose anything. As you don't have Garua, you must choose something else. To resolve it, um, they're trying to shark the wrong guy. Well, okay, that's that's actually how it works, though. Like how the opponent is saying it is how it works. I understand this person is a uh, how, how would you say it? Um, like a piece of garbage, something like that. Because um, like how they've been trying to play is not very good. But you know they are they are correct here, just gameplay wise. They are correct here. Uh, it's impossible, uh, said, do you have any in your extract? It's not public knowledge, it's impossible, you cannot activate Cartesia, you cannot resolve Cartesia, but no problem, wait for judge, it's impossible, you cannot resolve Cartesia. So they're saying that they don't have a way to resolve it with these two here. Uh, wait judge things, hi, hi judge, my opponent used super poly, but they noticed after using it and discarding for it that they already summoned Garua, so they want to do a take back, are they forced to resolve super poly or can they go back? Um, okay, so let's see, so I don't understand what the disagreement is, if you activate super poly then you have to resolve it, yes, but I want to fuse Hydra and Preventer, and I haven't, the monster is banished. Uh, then you must resolve it without using Preventer and Hydrant. You have something legal to fuse using Super Poly, if so, you have to do it. Yes, it's not like the instance I had brought up before. So, yes, they would actually be forced to resolve it, even if their intent with activating Super Poly was to summon out Garua. It's just not how it works. 
Uh, the game state doesn't care what you intended to fuse. If you have something legal to fuse, then activating Super Poly is legal, and you have to resolve Super Poly. Yes. Uh, I have something to legally summon, but if I send the monster to the graveyard and accidentally I have the correct monster to summon what I do. Um, well, you have to resolve it. Yeah, Super Poly has to resolve because you activated it, so send illegal. Yeah, send illegal materials and summon out a monster. I can't appeal, right? No, they can't. Uh, senior judges can't be appealed, and even if I wasn't a senior judge, I would deny the appeal. Yep. That's fair. Said, okay. I says another thing. In, in the last turn, my opponent committed three illegal actions. What we do with it? They were not intentional. Well, I teated, I tilted. Uh, I literally tilted, man. It is not intentional to use Super Poly to summon a yellow fusion monster. What does that mean? Like, oh, a monster is just not going to do anything like a normal monster? Okay, gameplay warning to both players. Shunsuke for the illegal plays, and I love juice for the illegal summon and trying to take Super Poly back. Anything else? What we proceed? Um. Said, no, you can make my opponent return Albion to the deck and called by... Yeah, return those two monsters. Jeez. Uh, you weren't allowed to take back intentional legal plays. Yes. Super probably will resolve here. Uh, he can talk to me. He can talk like that to me. Hayama, don't swear harass. Okay. Uh, we're waiting for you to resolve Super Poly, please. Okay, Judge, I'm sorry. Clap, clap. Okay, but like, okay, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing now I'm questioning. So, if they were able to actually resolve a Super Poly there, because they said they wanted to, they said they would have had to summon a yellow fusion monster, right? Does that mean that they play Masquerade? Because if they play Masquerade... That also means they cheated. Anyways, because even if all that stuff would have went through, you know, disregarding Super Poly, the opponent asked if they could resolve Cartesia, and they said no. But they had the Despia, and they had a Light or a Dark on their field, so they could have fused off and done that, but they know if they did that, they automatically lose. So, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I, I hope we see Masquerade at some point. Because, uh, I do feel like I Love Juice there was, like, actually cheating. Like, truly cheating, you know? I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from. The opponent's a shark, they're a horrible person, but, like, that doesn't make it right for you to cheat, right? So, like, you know, still don't cheat even if your opponent's a horrible person. It's just simple as that. Uh, just read the Watchers chat. Oh, God. Um, you quite literally just said, but okay, a few minutes ago, to be fair, you should have just stuck to it and forced them to summon whatever target you could. Yes, as you had a legal target, but taking it back is a bit cheaty. Uh, but now both players agreed to the game state. Uh, a judge is online, so it shouldn't take too long. This is entertaining. Oh boy, Shark Boy is winning the argument. I love juices and winning the argument. Yeah. He activated the card, he has to resolve it. Yeah. Um, back to the Super Bowl, you misplay. Okay. This viral doom person. Okay. Uh, arguing is pointless. Please resume playing. This is funny. This is funny. Because my opponent first says me okay when I summon and committed my play. Call the judge. Okay. So on to the next game. We're going to see I Love Juice go first. Opening hands. We have Branded Fusion. Oh, well, Branded Opening. Branded Fusion. Fallen of Albas called by Lost. Oh, that's crazy. We have Moonlit, Black Witch, Preventer, Emergency, and Airlifter. Uh, I said okay, because I thought you could do that, but if you're able to resolve spell, you must resolve it. You don't know the rules of the game, apparently. This is harassment, question mark. Okay, so activate Lost, activate Fusion, go ahead, dump Fallen of Albaz, Tragedy, summon out Lubelli on the Searing Dragon, and then Searing Dragon 1, Tragedy 2, Lost 3, search out the Cartesia, go search out Quem. Put back Fallen of Albus, put back Lubellion, summon out Mirror Jade. And then we're going to go Cartesia effect, special summon out. And then normal summon Quem, Quem effect, go dump the Shrouded Dragon, Shrouded Dragon effect, dump Retribution, put back. And then we have Retribution to B. 
Banish and add back branded fusion. Okay, opening discard branded fusion to go add the ad libitum. Then Cartesia effect, chain mirror jade, dump Albion, then banish mirror jade, use Cartesia plus ad libitum to go ahead and make a grand goil, then new chain link grand goil, ad lib quen, summon back out Cartesia, summon out mirror jade, go dump the Garua, Garua to draw into a Cartesia, and then set called by pass. All right, they draw into rescue ace impulse. So normal summon out airlifter. Wait, there's no shot, we just passed, All right? Like, I feel like there's a, there's like one big thing that we forgot about there, and that was getting access to our branded in red, which would have given us like Mirror Jade again, a Guardian Chimera. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, they're tilted. Uh, Airlifter, go search out Rescue. And then Summon Black Witch, discard Moonlit, Black Witch Effect, go set Original. Then original, send airlifter, summon out hydrant, then mirror jade effect, dump rinbrum, chain impulse, and then we let that go through. We don't try to chain our called by there or anything. Then the mirror jade resolves to go banish, banish hydrant, turbulence effect to go pop called by, and then chain called by onto airlifter. Like, what? That wasn't very good. Cartesia effect here, chain emergency, go summon fire attacker in defense mode, send preventer, then they're gonna make a Dragostopalia, then new chain link, wait, why would they send preventer? Why would you go for that? That doesn't, that doesn't make sense. Oh, new chain link, yeah, they can't use preventer because lost. Oh, uh, so now they're gonna go Quem 1, Lost 2. It's just like, yeah. The opponent definitely messed up with that. They, they just forgot about Lost. Quem on Mirror Jade. So go ahead, grab Mercurier, summon out Mirror Jade, and then they can't summon back out Hydrant. Yeah, you can't use Preventer. I can. Yeah, there's Lost. Um. My Cartesia is one. Yeah, Cartesia one. Emergency two. It doesn't miss timing. This is a win effect, though. That is something a lot of people forget. This is a win effect. So if it was emergency one, Cartesia two, then they would get preventer in effect. Because this is a win effect. And the last thing to happen in the chain was not a fusion summon. But in that instance, it was. Uh, was winning this. Had to play it better. Then on to the next game. I mean, to be fair, like, if they remembered... The branded and red off the Albion. There was like no shot. They could have called by an impulse. They had Mirjid, 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 Dragostopalia, Guardian Chimera, Mercurier, Infinite Follow Up, Rinbrum into a Fallen of Albaz. Like, there's a lot there. There's infinite there. Now we got Gold Sark, Branded Fusion, Fusion Duplication, Evenly Quem. They have Wanted, Emergency, Wanted, Rhoda, Impulse. And then Wanted. Go ahead, search out the Black Witch. Summon Black Witch, discard Wanted, Effect, go ahead, set Original, Original, Send, Summon out Hydrant, and then Hydrant Effect to go search, grab out the Turbulence, activate Rota, search out Rescue Ace Airlifter, and then Normal Airlifter, Effect, grab out Alert, and then you said, question mark, you haven't declared Lifter, okay, declared it, no, you summon without declare, and you did not resolve, and you did not resolve Lifter? Oh, you not resolve lifter. They summon. Okay, okay. Now, <laughs> why you declare all the cards and not lifter? I assuming you want you weren't using it. So they go normal air lifter. Instantly view the deck. Instantly add alert. Nah, come on, come on. Obviously, that's going through there. Come on now. Hi, how can I help my opponent? Has summoned Lifter and didn't declare the effect. He wants to resolve it. He can in all the games declared all the effects. They said Shunsky, PE, minor warning, return alert the deck. What? Your opponent may respond to it if they want to. He have a warning. He just have one warning for illegal plays. Um Yeah, but it wasn't for the same thing. 
said, if he wants to do something, he can state it. So no reason to upgrade here. You may proceed. He didn't stop Diabellister. He didn't stop Hydrant. Why would he stop Lifter? Why would you not declare the effect? Don't know and don't care. Declare your effects properly. Based. Uh, he just a button. Okay. So yeah, Airlifter is going to activate. Go search alert. There's no shot we need a Judge Call for that. Uh, but I guess, you know, every time the opponent messes up even a little bit at this point, we're going to call a judge on him. We're going to get him as many warnings as possible into the game loss. <laughs> so go ahead, search out the Preventer. Now make a Sunlight Wolf. Activate Turbulence. Banish. Special Summon out. And then Turbulence Effect. Go set Contain. Extinguish. Emergency. And Rescue. So go ahead, set 4. Then we're going to go activate emergency to summon and send. So summon out preventer. Then send preventer. Preventer effect. Summon out the hydrant. And then link off into a link karibo. Sunlight wolf effect to add back the preventer. Um, We add back a preventer there. Okay. Make heat soul. And then Heat Soul, pay a thousand, draw on the wanted. Uh, can't summon out Preventer. Yeah. So I call Judge, sorry, wait. Judge, man, you have to stop it, I'm going back. Okay. Hi, hi, what's the issue this time? My opponent have summoned Preventer, return at the hand with Sunlight Wolf. Is an illegal play, he is correct, sorry. Okay, and why'd you not communicate them? Instead of pausing the duel, because because he is sharking hard, judge very very hard. It's like, uh, it's like I mean, if you commit, okay, here's the thing. I kind of get it from both point of views, right? Like it sucks to be I love Jews because your opponent's just constantly trying to cheat you and trying to make it so that way you don't catch it, and Shunsuke is just constantly trying to cheat. And, like, uh, it's just, like, it's a bad environment. Just play your cards correctly, please. But also, it's just a bad look for both of them. Um, because I call the judge. You can summon preventer, question mark. I know that you call the judge. I'm asking why not explain the issue first before doing so. I'm not allowed to pause the game. Okay, so if I call a judge for a quick recap, are you telling me that if there is no judge online, you'd prefer waiting potentially for hours rather than, I don't know, communicate with your opponent. You could have just told them there would be no need for a judge. Okay, well, a couple things. One, there is a judge online. Obviously, you're online. Second of all, um, maybe it's, again, they're just trying to get them more warnings. So that way it's upgraded to a game loss because they keep cheating. So, yeah. Uh, judge, he just wants to win with game loss. Prevents her to hand. Hydrant the graveyard. Um, but it is an illegal play. Yeah, I know. Thanks. Proceed with the duel. This is four in one game. Okay, well now the judge just kind of looks dumb there, right? Because, like, I mean, you got to give a warning for an illegal play. That's, like, the whole point of you being a judge. You give You, you give warnings for illegal plays. So, they're just not giving out a warning for that, but, like, yes, they, I mean, they do deserve a warning for that. Uh, for that misplay, I don't make Mask Arena. It was not intentional. Okay. Um, now they're gonna go ahead and link off, make an Appalooza. Then, set wanted, pass, draw thrust. And then, standby phase, main phase, emergency. In the standby to go summon hydrant, send preventer, preventer effect to summon back out airlifter, airlifter effect goes search, grab out headquarters, then we're gonna go main phase, battle phase, end of battle phase, before the end of the battle phase, activate wanted, so like the start step, go ahead, search out black witch, then they said thumbs up, okay, so end the battle evenly, I'm thinking before end. Why did you say okay then? Like, what? Why'd you activate? Search Black Witch, send it, signal okay for the end of battle phase. Like, what? Why would you signal okay? Can I think before the end? You said okay to me. Why you say okay was meant to be a thing. All oh, that's not what you did. You were just too fast. What? Nah, that's cap. That's cap. They signal okay. 
They placed evenly. They said, I'm thinking before the end. Okay, so why did it take you 13 seconds to say, like, oh my gosh, just, you could, it's so easy to say, misclick on the thumbs up or anything. You could have said, think. Oh, oh, is it going to be another judge call? I asked you in a battle phase. Um, you say me before end, use wanted, and then say okay, I proceed and end the battle phase. And yes, we are before the end now again. Why you say okay to me? That I said thing. I thought it was emoji of thing. You literally click the okay button. The think button is in another place. Yes, I mean they did that on purpose, so we don't accidentally click one and not the other. He didn't give me any time to state I was thinking instead of okay. -ing. Okay, so now we're supposed to allow the opponent to say okay and then wait for them to confirm that it's okay like what no obviously not you we're not giving out double okays because then maybe i want you to confirm the okay the second time so now you got to confirm it a third time and then i, I want to triple check that that's actually okay so now i gotta okay it four times no obviously not okay once is okay that's it i was stating it you says me okay you says me okay you say Karen English learn English this is harassment you are in harassment oh okay learn English and then you don't even spell the words correctly where's the capital where's the period come on now if you're gonna go full out like that you gotta go full out and you can't spell learn wrong either you can't do that you can't spell learn wrong if you're about to say that but Said pathetic. Hi, how can I help? Judge. This is getting really boring, Judge. My opponent's still harassing me, whatever. I go to battle phase. I'm not harassed anymore. Okay, well... I don't know. I mean, they're speaking good enough English for me to understand what they're saying, right? It's like, this is fine. You said it's okay. You says me okay. You says me okay. Like, that's fine. I can understand what they're saying there. If you don't understand what they're saying there, then ask. What are you saying, right? It's not like they're trying to talk to you in, like, Spanish or something. And then it's like, okay, well, now I don't want to have to translate everything you say. And it gets mistranslated. Like, you know, please speak in English. That's, you know, that's what the DB site is. It's an English site. It's whatever. But, you know, this isn't a problem with that. And then, and then you said pathetic. It's like, come on, man. Come on, dude. Um, say to him, end the battle phase, he said, think, he have used wanted, and then tell me, okay, I activate my card, uh, Shunsuke Hayama, what were you exactly, what were you okay in exactly, if not telling him to proceed, thought I sent the emoji of thinking instead of stating okay, I didn't have time to state it, he should have said misclick, he should have said anything else, okay, uh, be more careful in the future. Even this chain link one here, you may respond to it. Sometimes it happens that I send the emoji of think when I want to. Okay, instead. That, okay, well, that's on you. <laughs> that definitely doesn't happen on the site. I'll tell you what. That doesn't happen with me. That doesn't happen with me. If I click the think button, it sends the think emoji. If I click the okay button, it sends the okay button, right? Um... Okay, um, no it isn't, and now be silent, okay buddy, okay, 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 judge, can, he can talk to me like this, yeah he can, I don't know, <laughs> keep the chat game, play related and proceed, what, okay, <laughs> yo, this judge does not care at all, <laughs> That's so funny. You say, can you talk to me like this? Yeah, I can. I don't know. Like, what? What do you mean you don't know? You, oh my gosh. Like, ah. Uh. Uh, make this the last time a judge is called in this duel, if possible. Thinking on the last. There's no shot this is going to be the last judge call. There's no shot. This is like, this is like nine judge calls in a row. We're like an hour and 20 minutes into this match. Okay, evenly go banish. Should we have chained anything? Hold on. Uh, probably not, right? We would just rescue summon back something that gets banished. Keep Apo. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, main phase two. Um, have a nice day. Your hand was bad. That's why you were trying to shark so badly. Okay. You know, weird. The second the judge leaves, they, they, 
they go back to, uh, you know, just trying to talk crazy. And Evenly is the top deck, obviously. Ah, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Evenly was obviously the top deck here. 100%. <laughs> Gold Sark, Vanish Mercurier, and then Mercurier Effect, Chain Appalooza, Normal Summon Quem, and then Activate Quem Effect to go dump. And then they're thinking if they want to Apo that, they're going to Chain Impulse. Go ahead, Tribute, bring out Fire Attacker. And then dump E Cartesia, the Rust, go search for Talons, then Fire Attacker effect to draw into a Veiler and called by, and then discard Black Witch, Black Witch effect can go send the special summon out. Yeah, it's really good, a Fire Attacker, Black Witch, especially if it's like turn zero with Impulse. Um, but go ahead, summon, and then send a Turbulence, and then Black Witch effect will now go ahead and set. So set the original. Now Talons to look at the hand. Then they're going to hit back Valor. Okay. So they know everything now. Uh, Branded Fusion, Dump Fallen of Albaz, Bestial Lubellion, Summon out Albion. And then New Chain Link, Albion 1, Quem 2 on Cartesia, Chain Appalooza to stop that. They said thinking on what to fuse here. So we're going to banish a Fallen of Albaz and the Albion to summon out Mirror Jade. Okay. Then... Set fusion duplication pass. So cool. All this to lose question mark. Look at how pathetic you are. Wanna call the judge? This is harassment. Maybe he can save you from losing this. No, it isn't. You are calling me pathetic. I suggest you to review the meaning of words. Harassment is insulting. Okay, well, you wanna see harassment? Buddy, you suck. That's it. You suck at this game. I genuinely do not believe you have the capabilities to push through a Mirror Jade Fusion Duplication here. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you can do it. I don't believe in you. Because you messed up game one pretty bad. You're you're obviously a sharker. People in Watchers chat are saying that you're a sharker. So, I don't believe you can do it. I, I genuinely don't. I, someone's gotta send this to DB Grinder so we can finally get some more Toxic Dual content. I saw that like out of the corner of my eye. I saw the DB... That's crazy. Um, well, here you go. That alt Zacamore. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if this was Zacamore. It honestly wouldn't surprise me even a tiny bit if this was one of the people in that friend group that is all just super toxic Italians. It would not surprise me if it was one of them. It really wouldn't. They have low experience, so it's a new account. Yep, wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> wouldn't surprise me even a little bit. Uh, pass to draw Valor. Alright, let me check something out. Valor. Returned it to the top of the deck. At 85, 21. 85, 21. Okay. Oh, shuffle the deck. Wow, wow, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was going to be an instance where they didn't shuffle their deck there and they redrew into it. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> Uh, so I said main phase is fine. So we have Mirror Jade Dump, which will make Quem activate. We have Fusion Duplication on the Branded Fusion. It's not, it's not the greatest spot for us here, especially with our opponent having it called by the grave. Um, but they're going to go activate the Rescue Ace Headquarters. Then Headquarters Effect. We'll go shuffle back a Turbulence, Preventer, Emergency, and Alert. And then we will draw into an Emergency. Mm, okay... Okay, we're drawing to emergency there. Then link off. They said misclick. All right, how long did it take for you to say misclick? All right, see right there. There you go. All you have to do is say misclick. If all they did was put Appalooza on the field and didn't say misclick, judge would get called. They'd be forced to link or tribute summon or something. But since they said misclick, that's not the case there. Nice. Activate preventer effect. Banish hydrant. Special summon out from the hand. Then they said anything on res, preventer, try to book a moon, mirror jade, chain mirror jade to go ahead and dump. Then that's going to dump the ash dragon, banish preventer, set mirror jade. Um, it's actually decently good for us that this ends up getting set there. Um, but now, now they're going to go quem target the Cartesia, and then we're going to chain called by, and now they're going to make an SP little knight. It makes you think, could they have just gone like, Oh, but if they go Preventer Book Quem, right? They could go Battle Phase to try to force this out, but then they banish, which is like kind of rough, kind of rough. 
Uh, the SP effect, go banish the Ash Dragon from the graveyard. Original, send, summon out Hydrant. But, like, they would get to beat over Quem no matter what. So, Quem would get beat over. Mirinji would have to use its effect to keep itself alive. Obviously, otherwise, it gets beat over. So, obviously, they're going to use it. And then you get to keep called by. Called by is decently good to keep here. Especially with the opponent not having cards in hand. So, they're going to go Original Ascend, Summon Hydrant. Then, On Summon, Fusion Duplication, Target Branded Fusion, Banish Dump Fallen of Albaz, dump a Quem, and then summon out Albion, and then Albion effect to go banish. Um, they're thinking they do have SP Little Knight. They're gonna chain SP onto Albion in itself, then banish Fallen of Albaz, Mirror Jade, summon out Mirror Jade, and then Mirror Jade effect, dump Rinbrum, banish Hydrant. Okay, so we dump Rinbrum there, which kinda sucks. Not that great. They're going to go Emergency. Go Summon Preventer. Send Preventer. Preventer. Summon Hydrant. Hydrant Effect. Go Search. Said, how'd you summon Hydrant? Preventer. Lol. Come on, man. Stop it. You haven't declared it. I don't have to declare it. Okay. Yes, you do. Otherwise, how is this on field? Obviously, you have to declare it. Do you want to call a judge about it? Let's see. Man, do you want to call a judge? Honestly, I hope they do call a judge. Because the judge might actually give them a loss for this one. Like, if that same judge comes back, I feel like he's he's sick of it. So, honestly, yeah, call a judge. Call it. Yeah. It is clear I want to use Preventer. How do I summon Preventer? Why should I declare Preventer? You literally can't respond to my plays right now. Let me continue. That's not true. We can definitely respond to your plays. You don't know what we have. Maybe we have a main deck interruption that you don't know about. I mean, I don't know what main deck interruption there would be, but hey, you still gotta declare them. The judge literally said, hold on, 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 hold on. Um, where is it? Come on. Wait, it was like right here. Oh, I can't find it. Dang it. He literally said, like, I don't care. And I don't care that you did that. You still have to do it. Why haven't you declared it, man? Would, why should I tell me? Because I, we need to know if you've activated it or not, you bozo. If we don't know if you've activated it or not, now you can use Preventer later on in the turn and claim, well, I didn't know I activated Preventer Effect. Obvi okay, obviously, after game one, you are a cheater. Okay, I, I do not need to see anything more. Then the SP fusion duplication interaction to know that you are a cheater. That's all I needed to see to know that you are not a clean player. Okay, so yes, I would make you declare the effects. Can we continue, please? Effect of preventer, preventer effect. Unbelievable, really, because you have a warning for the same thing. Man, you're embarrassing. I'm not getting a warning for this. And I didn't get a warning before for not declaring lifter just to say, stop it. Uh, Shunsuke, PE, Minor, Warning, Return Alert to Deck. Yes. There are no judges too. You have zero responses. And you had zero responses to my airlifter too. So you should have been punished. Wait, so you should have been punished. Mem remember that time, like, two minutes ago? When you were com complaining about your opponent... Uh, not knowing English? Well, yeah, you don't know English. Now what? Ha ha. L for sharking, because I was literally sharking. Uh, tell me why you have not declared Preventer, because you cannot even say K, because you cannot do anything right now. That's, it doesn't matter if your opponent has zero interactions. I mean, technically, you're still supposed to declare your cards, right? And you've already had a judge call for it. I would understand if this was, like, a regular match, game one, and you and your opponent haven't had any beef, then sure, but you've literally had the same judge call this match. Otherwise, it'd be like, sure, who cares? Yes, obviously, that's what's happening here. And even now, obviously, that's what's happening here. But you're a cheater and a sharker. They're both just trying to, they're both just sharking. It's better for you, trust me, because you're getting freezed. Okay, well, it's getting froze, not freeze, learn English, if you wait the judge, if you wait for the judge. Come on, bro, learn English, what are you doing? Like, what? I thought you were complaining so much about it. Wanted, put back, draw prosperity, nice. 
And then Hydrant Effect, go search out Turb. And then we're gonna go Summon out Turb by Banishing, Turb Effect, go set Alert, Emergency. Um, okay, activate the alert now to go search for a Impulse. That's fine. Then we're gonna go make Sky Crisis, Sky Crisis, Bounce Back, Mirror Jade, Battle Phase, Beat Over, Quem. Yeah, that's rough. Uh, now they're gonna go past turn. Alright. Um, end phase, Albion, SP come back. So get back Albion, get back SP little guy, and then pass, drop his steel sworn you. Uh, okay. Uh, so we will go battle. I said, think at start a battle phase. They're gonna go tribute hydrant, summon out Link Karibo. And then they're thinking if they want to respond to Link Karibo effects, we do have a Bestial Soren here. But I said that's fine. So Albion attacking the SP, Link Karibo. And then now we're just going to go. We're not going to crash because we have a Bestial Lubellion that we can summon. So it's like obviously not crash, right? Yeah. Main phase 2, tribute special summon out Lubellion. Then Lubellion effect. Okay. So it doesn't, you know, impulse, failure, anything like that. No SP, so bring out Branded Lost. And then end phase, I'll be on the Branded Dragon. Go set a Branded in red. Okay, pass, they draw impulse. Main phase, headquarters effect to go shuffle back and draw. Two preventer, hydrant, and alert. Okay, so put back. And then draw into prosperity. Ha, nice. <laughs> Drawing Prosperity off of a draw effect feels so bad. Activate Emergency. Go Summon Hydrant. Send Impulse. Then they said anything on res. Nope. Hydrant Effect. Go search for a Rescue Ace Preventer. Then Special Summon Out Preventer by Banishing Emergency. Sure. Link Karibo. Tribute. Special Summon Out. They said okay. Yeah, that's fine. Now they're going to go into a Dark Charmer, Preventer Effect, Summon back out of Turbulence, okay. And then, can't use Turbulence because of Sky Crisis. So, yep, they're going to go ahead and go ahead and put that back. Said, sorry, I am sorry. Uh, five Illegal Moves, Dark Charmer Effect, go take Albion. And then, now we're going to get rid of those to make a Nightmare Unicorn, Unicorn Effect, Discard Prosperity, Spin the Branded Lost. Okay, uh, now go normal summon out impulse, and then use those to make a access code effect again attack, but they cannot pop with this here, because Sky Crisis will not let it activate. So, they're gonna go battle, so I think end the main one, yeah, branded in red, go in the quaddle, so add back Quen. they could have chained SP there to go ahead and banish the Lubellion. So that way they would have to banish from hand to summon Quaddle if they had it. But they're going to let that go there. So banish, banish, bring out the Quaddle, and then Quaddle effect, drop everything down to zero. Okay, well all their monsters down to zero, which actually makes it to where Access Code and Turbulence can actually activate their effects now, right? Because, I mean, it doesn't say original, obviously, otherwise this wouldn't, have, this wouldn't hurt stuff like Pressured Planet and headquarters and stuff like that um so now they're gonna go think um they're gonna go normal summon valor um they said additional nib here uh okay because they were saying that the impulse earlier was summoned off the headquarters additional summon okay obviously not the valor being summoned off the additional summon but they should use turbulence effect to go set bozo like, what? It's obviously just a misplay. Uh, they said nib here, question mark. They can't drop nib because uh, they have Sky Crisis. So, Battle Phase, Baron, Attack Over Quaddle, Main Phase 2, Sky Crisis, SP, Make SP, SP Effect, Go Banish the Albion. Yeah. And then, End of Main Phase 1, Pass, Draw Lightning Storm. That was actually a really good... Not really good top deck, but that was a top deck that is better than what it could have been. It could have been a bad card. Um, so let's think. Oh yeah, we get Mercurio here to hand. True, 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 true. We did indeed activate a Gold Sark, and we're actually resolving it. 
Wow. I forgot. It's literally been like 30 minutes real life time since we've activated Cold Sark. <laughs> but they're going to go activate this deal, Sornir. Target the Black Witch there. Okay. I mean, they do have Baron. Baron doesn't seem very good on that, though. Okay, so they're going to go SP Banish itself plus the Access Code Talker. So, Banish, Special Summon out. And then we can go Battle, uh, Crash, Take 500, Sornir Effect to go Dump. They said, okay, Dump Retribution, Main Phase 2, uh, Lightning Storm Baron, and then Chain Baron. Yeah. And then Retribution, Banish, Add Back Branded in Red. We're definitely going to resolve the fusion effect of this, right? Because, I mean, we could add back Clem, Summon Effect, go dump. Yep, we're definitely going to resolve the fusion effect of it. Yep. So, activate Branded in red. Add back Clem. And then, now we can go ahead and banish to go summon. Ha, ha, ha. So, now you have Masquerade in your deck. But you didn't have it earlier. Game one, uh, which makes you a cheater. Ah ha 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 ha! I caught you. I knew it would eventually come up. That's actually crazy that it actually came up here. Yes, and I know for a fact they did not side masquerade in on DB. Do not lie to me. That would be cap. But yeah, that that almost guaranteed was in their list. Game one. So it's like. Oh my gosh, just because your opponent's a cheater doesn't mean you get to cheat. That doesn't make you any better than them. Mercury or go search. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, search out for Albion the Shrouded Dragon. Shrouded Dragon effect. Dump opening. Put back. Draw on the thrust. Activate thrust. We played three for one of Albaz, right? I don't know if we do. We were thinking about this for a while. Okay, we do. Okay, go ahead, search Branded Fusion, activate Branded Fusion. And then that's going to go ahead, dump Fallen of Albaz, Tragedy, summon out the Lubelion. Okay, Tragedy goes search. That can go grab an Alibur. And then Alibur can be activated. Okay, it's like, do we play like Branded in White? Or do we play like, oh my gosh, we actually do. Okay. <laughs> Activate Branded in White, and then go Banish, Banish, Summon out Boral and the Furious Dragon, then go to End Phase, they said Unreal, okay, so Summon, and now we have Furious Dragon, they said Unreal, ha, they're so mad, uh, we have Furious, I can go ahead and pop here, so pop Alibur, pop Access Code, and then pass, they draw into a Effect Veiler, Okay, um, so now they will go standby phase. They do have Baron effect I could tag out. So Baron tag out, target impulse, then chain furious to pop itself plus Baron. But now SP will be activated, which gets to banish the Baron. They're going to banish itself plus Baron. Okay, and then opening protect furious. So Baron's going to come back with its negate too, which is good. Assuming on the scenario, uh, headquarters effect, go ahead, shuffle back, and then draw one. So that draws into a black witch. Okay, lose 600. And then summon black witch, discard pot of prosperity, which maybe you could argue, right, that we should have popped the baron the first time. And then access code here during the standby. And then SP wouldn't be able to stop. Uh, I mean, they can banish access code plus your masquerade, though, and leave SP there. Which would also kind of suck. Um, but, oh, wait, but if we pop SP the first time, then we're just leaving. Okay, well, ah, I could have popped Baron the first time. Or we could have popped SP if we pop SP. Then they still have Baron access code. They go standby phase. Baron tag out. We can go chain furious. Pop access code. Something like that. Go ahead, set original. Then now they have. I mean. Okay, let's look through. Let's look through. What do they have? What do they have? They have hydrant. They have preventer. They have. 
Um, Turbulence. They have a lot of engine in their deck. Activate original, Sun Black Witch, go summon out Hydrant. Hydrant effect, go search out Preventer. Then activate Preventer. You know, we keep losing every time we activate something. And then we have Preventer effect to Book of Moon Masquerade. Okay. And then here. Okay, should have said misclick there. Could have forced him into a Ling Summon. Battle phase. Beat over Borland because they have headquarters up. So this is gaining 500. Then Aliber summon and stop the Preventer. I mean, see, I think it's the only thing that they can target there. Then Wanted, put back original, draw into Valor. Okay. Um, probably just pass there, right? Yeah, get back SP, get back Baron. And then pass, draw into a Ad Libithum. Okay. So we're going to go main phase, Flip Masquerade. So do I take damage? Yes. Why not? I don't take damage. Lol. It's a fusion summon. No, I booked it. Well, they should be asking a judge this because, you know, I love juice. Doesn't have to say that there, I think. I guess they could ask, like, is that monster fusion summoned? Uh, it doesn't remember. It only remembers that it was special summoned, not fusion summoned. I'm not sure. Checking. I'm pretty sure it does remember. It should remember, right? Continue, please. You have a link. It is still special summoned, not fusion summoned. Ask watchers chat. Um, wait, this game has gone on for three hours. The judges went offline because of these two. I think that duel is three hours. It's been one hour and 30 minutes. Well, we have logs. It has been two hours. Eh, over two hours. Uh, two, uh, Italians. Lot misplays. Crazy. Additional normal summon must be rescue based monster. Yep. It remembers. Okay, so they said ask watchers chat and they said it remembers. Yep, okay. Um, said lithogasm when flip face down or banished temporarily, the monster still remembers lithogasm. Uh, Mirror remembers that it was fusion summoned. It remembers. Can I continue? No, I'm checking. Okay, so they're gonna go preventer on the masquerade to rebook it. And then they said proceed, please. Okay, so they have SP, they have Baron, they have Double Veiler in hand, that's rough. Uh, we do have Adlib, Adlib effect is decent, but the opponent would have SP, said, so can you make a play, it's hard, call Judge, you cannot stay right there and do nothing, make a play please. Okay, Tribute Summon for Adlib, Masquerade can summon itself back out from the graveyard at some point. Uh, Alibur in the graveyard in case they accidentally banish this. That was not the play 100%. You think? Well, what do you think the play was? Because, I mean, we have tragedy that can go ahead and banish and set. But, like, uh, what do you want them to set? They've gone through all three Albaz. So, battle, Lubellion, attack over the SP Little Knight. Masquerade summon itself out, then Masquerade attack into Baron, and then Alibur summon itself out. Okay, and negate the Baron. And then main phase two, no more Alabaz, come on man, come on, come on. <laughs> Tragedy set Branded in white. Okay, activate Branded in white, Adlib plus the Lubellion, summon out Dragos to Paleo. Adlib can now summon out Amir Jade. Or it can summon out that. Okay, I guess Mirror Jade might not even be good, depending on what we have in our extra deck. Summon out Furious, Furious, Pop Alibur, and Headquarters, Chain Veiler. Yeah, Dragos to Paleon, Preventer. I mean, they misplayed there. They did play into Veiler, and they knew that the opponent played it. We saw it earlier off that, and we saw it earlier off Talons. So we definitely knew what they played it. They should have gone end phase Furious Dragon. Which I mean technically they could have gone end domain Valor, chain Furious, chain Valor, and have stopped it anyways. Uh, but then you put your opponent on have double Valor, which is like, you know, not super likely there. Um, but okay, go main phase, normal summon out Moonlit, make an Amirage, battle phase, Aaron attacking the Dragos to Paleo. You could also argue that um 
We just Dragos to paleo the wrong monster too, right? Maybe we should have Dragos to paleo onto a Baron. So that way Baron effect was shut down. Instead of Preventer that we could have chained Dragos to paleo to shut down. Because even though Baron was negated by Alibur, Dragos to paleo doesn't negate. That's not what it effect is. Its effect is to put a counter onto something. Its other effect just happens to negate it. And also negates the activated effect too. But Furious, Pop, Alibur, and Headquarters. Then they're going to let that go. And then they're going to Baron beat over. They said suck, suck. Thinking on attack declaration. They're going to go Amirage onto Baron. Said sorry, can't. Why? Uh, it dies, you're right. You're Stapaleo. You're right, my bad. Is a replay on battle use, so let me think on attack declaration. There is the replay then, Samaraj tribute. My Baron still attack Dragos Stapaleo. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why they used Amaraj there, but yeah, it will be activated there. Uh, now they're gonna go summon Alibur, but they're gonna Baron stop it. And then, yeah, they're gonna go Preventer book because the Dragos Stapaleo is no longer on the field. So go ahead and set. Then main phase two, Hydrant, search out for a Preventer. Then, yeah, it's not looking great now. Pass, draw, called by, there's nothing left, and they lose. Complete top deck, zero Albaz, Yi, GG. Gato, three hours, Gato. Okay, um... That was wild. Um, okay. I love beers, the new Zackamore Plus. No, it was definitely the opponent who was Zackamore. But they were both bad in that situation. The opponent was on the dark side to begin with and then took I Love Juice to the dark side. Ah, that alt Zackamore, bro. Oh, I already read that part. Um, I would love if. Beer gets a game loss for excessive judge calls. Uh, average moment, for to be honest. By the sounds of it, if a judge does come, they'll likely be giving them a game loss. How many times have judge called this match? Four or five times. Three hour duel. Um, this was pretty much three hours. Yeah. Well, I mean, about two and a half hours. Uh, you know, 150 minutes, you know, divided by 60 yada 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 um this is pretty simple it remembers um gonna issue a slow play warning warning to italian players yep okay so that is it for the video oh my god that was an hour long that's longer than an iron man for one match Oh my gosh, it was just so bad and so many spots for both of them. Like, the opponent wanted to cheat by going back because, like, oh, the trap card needs to be banished. Oh, I realized my mistake. I even admitted to it. I didn't have access to a turbulence. I wanted to go change my place that way I had access to it. And then I love Juice. I know for a fact you had Masquerade in your extra deck. You 100% did. Like, no, no doubt 100% there was Masquerade in the extra deck game one. So they also cheated by not summoning Masquerade when their opponent asked if Cartesia could resolve. And they said no, it cannot. They were cheating because they wanted to beat the opponent because the opponent was a sharker. But, you know, just because your opponent cheats does not give you the right to cheat. Don't, don't cheat. Simple as that. It's a bad look on both of you, everyone. And honestly, it would not surprise me if this was Zach Moore. Or the other account, the old Francesco Gergatini account. Or it wouldn't surprise me if this was the Geg15. It wouldn't surprise me if this was the, you know, any of the, pretty much any of the toxic Italian accounts on DB. It's all from the same friend group because they're all just angry at life. Um, you know, I would probably too, if I was an Italian that was just toxic on DB all the time, I'd probably also be angry at life. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the match. And... Okay, a DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.